Singer R. Kelly appeared in a Chicago court today for a status hearing related to his sex abuse case. The R&B singer has pleaded not guilty to 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse. The charges involved four alleged victims. No one matter before the judge in today's hearing involves attorney Michael Avenatti, who has been charged with extortion, embezzlement and wire fraud in an unrelated case. So Jerika Duncan joins me now uh, from just outside of the courtroom. Walk us through what happened today, because as I understand it, Avenatti's interactions with prosecutors was partially at the center of some of this stuff. Correct. And let me set the scene for you. This hearing lasted all of six minutes. So R. Kelly, his attorneys, new attorneys, in fact, walked in the courtroom. Uh, he had to go before the judge. They made sure that those lawyers' names were on the record. And then they discussed this motion that you're referring to. And essentially, this is a motion uh, that the defense wants any sort of text messages or communications with prosecutors that took place before these charges against R. Kelly were filed. They're hoping that maybe they would find some sort of impropriety or certain statements or comments made to show that perhaps uh, this was not a case of just simply charging R. Kelly because the prosecutors thought that he committed a crime. So they are still working on that. In fact, the judge asked the defense to repeat a or to submit a supplemental uh, motion to be more specific about what the attorneys were hoping to gain if that information is able to be given to them. That, again, is Avenatti's communication with the prosecutors who've been working on this case. So, listen, Jerika, let's like remind everybody about how Michael, Michael Avenatti got involved in this whole thing, because I'm sure many people have been watching him on television ever since he uh, was at the center of uh, the scandal involving the president and his alleged affair with, with a porn star. And then up pops Michael Avenatti with a tape associated with R. Kelly. Yeah, he represents some of the women who are a part of the charges in which R. Kelly's facing. And he's the one who said, you know, I was able to obtain this video. I turned it over to the Cook County Prosecutor's Office. And that video is responsible for one uh, of the char not one of the charges, but involving one of the women out of the four in reference to these sexual abuse charges. Uh, so it is sort of ironic because it wasn't necessarily a lane, so to speak, that we would expect him to sort of come into. But he said that he was... Um, given this tape, he saw the tape and he turned it over to the authorities, which then led to some of the charges that R. Kelly is currently facing. And of course, now Michael Avenatti facing his own charges, as we mentioned, completely separate case, not associated with this. But I'm sure, uh, you know, R. Kelly's attorneys saw this as an opportunity to maybe find a wedge, maybe, you know, a suggestion that Michael Avenatti's um, reputation is a little bit tainted now as he tries to sort of uh, fight his own legal battles, innocent until proven guilty. Right. And Go Correct, because he was charged with extortion and embezzlement. But as long as he still has a, a, a you know, law license and he's free, uh, he's going to continue to represent the women that he's been representing in reference to this case. Um, another thing that's interesting to note is not just the criminal case, but you have to remember that R. Kelly's also facing uh, issues in family court. He mm. is allegedly behind on child support once again. So he has to appear in court for that tomorrow. And we're also hearing through one of his new attorneys that that attorney will be fighting a separate case. R. Kelly does not have to be present at that hearing, but the separate case involves a civil suit in which there was a judgment issued for a woman. But now that attorney is fighting on behalf of R. Kelly, saying they want to vacate that judgment because he did not know what he was signing or doing at that time. So you have three different things happening between now and Wednesday. Of course, the criminal case which was settled today in terms of what's next. And what's next is a June 26th status hearing to find out if more information will be turned over to the defense. Tomorrow you have the family court hearing. And tomorrow you also have this uh, hearing involving a civil suit where they're trying to vacate the judgment that was awarded to the woman who filed a civil lawsuit against R. Kelly. So a lot that is happening. We are, of course, staying on top of it and we'll continue to bring you the very latest. Yeah, we saw all those attorneys uh, speaking to members of the media. I think there's maybe yeah. three or four there. You got to wonder if they know whether or not they're going to get paid uh, for representing him because. And it's good. And it's a great question, Anne Marie. Somebody asked them with all these attorneys you have, how are you even able, how is R. Kelly able to pay you? 
uh, and one of the attorneys responded, that's none of your business. Uh, but one definitely must ask with uh, reports of him not having access to his money, um, why and what is the reason for these attorneys to stay with him, and what are they going to gain from representing him? Yeah, certainly everyone deserves that representation. This is a very high-profile case. Perhaps yeah. that's part of it. Jerika, thank you so much. And also just want to make sure that we mention, mm. uh, Anne-Marie, that R. Kelly does continue to deny any wrongdoing in all of these uh, sexual assault allegations. Very good point. Thank you, Jerika.